Hi, this is uh, Ritter once again, and today I'm going to show you how I managed to control my screen with the, my uh, HTPC server. Uh, it was pretty tough actually. I had to uh, to simulate the remote control signals from this this remote and uh, manage the remote receiver to the to the screen to uh, understand and. Uh, uh, use the signals to control the screen. First of all, I, it was pretty tough to find out which frequency this uh, this was on. I read on a, a couple of forums that it was uh, 315 megahertz, and later I found out that it was on uh, 433. The standard frequency we use here in Europe for all uh, controllability of uh, power outlets and uh, radio. Here's, for example, one of the uh, one of the receivers that, that can dim my uh, floor lamp. So I'll show you how I did it. First of all, how to get infrared signals to get to be translated to radio frequency. It's not it's not very it's not a very easy task to solve. But I, I managed to buy a pretty cheap and decent uh, RF and IR extender. I can show you it over here, just next to my access point. And you can see the eye here that's blinking. And uh, this is from my computer. Computer, the small, the small eye. And uh, it's that signal is later translated and then sent both by infrared and radio radio to the receiver and IR transmitter, as I can show show you over here. So what I did was that I took the remote control that. Uh, uh, I used for the screen, and then I pushed, pushed the buttons, and I tried to learn my computer those commands. It was very hard because uh, the signal w would get scrambled sometimes, and uh, too long or too short, so once I got something recorded, it, it didn't end up in a good signal. Anyhow, I managed to, uh, to solve one of the uh, commands, and it was command down for the screen, so I could, could use uh, my infrared signal to, uh, to, to uh, get the screen to go down. Then I had problems with up and stop because when I tried to learn my computer those infrared signals it would, it would hang and I would have to close the program. In this case, event ghost. I think it was because the IR signature was too long. Then I tried to uh, think about some other way to solve it and then I found a manual uh, of the screen online and then it taught me that over here just next to, to the side here you can see there's a small hole and if you you push there, you can teach it the screen to use another remote control. In this case, I just took a regular small uh, Nexa on and off uh, remote control that's used for power outlets uh, that works on the same frequency, and uh, uh, it worked, but then only with uh, up and stop. But, but I, as I said, I already had down, so w what, I, what I did is that I put in those, those commands to my tail stick that I have in the back of this HTPC that sends uh, signals to my uh, electrical outlets that I have and uh, dimming lights and everything like that. So what my computer does is, is that it's actually simulating a regular on and off switch which this control unit here receives as up or down depending on the signal and then for, well, correction, up and stop. And then the signal for down is just sent by infrared from this guy over here, and then translate it there, and then we have the small box here to uh, intercept the signal for down. And it works uh, like a charm. Sometimes uh, the range is not the best, but uh, uh, I have sometimes to, to press uh, two times, but seldom more than, more than that. It usually works pretty good. Yeah, so that's that. If you have, have any questions, just don't, don't he hesitate to ask me. I will answer on uh, YouTube or uh, sweetclockers.com and I'll key, promise to keep you posted and put up uh, a guide on how you can control your uh, things at home. I hope it helped. Bye.